Guys, today we're going to be working with a very, very, very overlooked uh, tool in Excel, which is the Excel table, all right? Most people don't even know that this thing exists. So we're going to be working with the Excel table in order to, to show you how this tool is going to make your life easier when working with either pivot tables or pivot charts. And again, it has a lot of benefits on its own, but its main benefit is how it facilitates your life when doing uh, data connections, pivot tables, pivot charts, or even power pivot. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started with Excel tables. Now, this is an often very overlooked topic because, um, yeah, Excel tables, who knows about them? Um, Excel tables have their own uses, primarily if you already know what pivot tables are, okay? So this is why I left this video for later, even though Excel tables are a prerequisite for pivot tables. Um, an Excel table is pretty much just this little thing where you find, go to insert and find table. Insert table, all right, guys? So... You cl click here uh, on table and you're going to convert this little table that we have here into something else. So let's see how we do that. Select any cell that you have right here, go to insert, click table, and you'll get this little dialog box asking you to create a table and it's going to try and select everything. I just make sure that the checkbox in my table has headers is fine and press OK. There we go, guys. So we've converted everything to an Excel table. You'll know it's an Excel table because we get this little like uh, clownfish uh, pattern in blue, okay? So advantages of an Excel table, this is gonna be a really short video because the advantages are, aren't that many, but the ones that exist are totally worth it. First and foremost, when you scroll down, notice how the column names shift from A, B, C, D, E, F, G to order, date, time of check, table, waiter, and so on, okay? Now, second, if I wanted to add a new column into a table, I just type it in. Say, for example, we have price and cost right here. So I'm going to add a new column called income, which is going to be the result, which is going to be the result of price minus cost. Now, notice how as soon as I typed in income, a new column was added to my table. All right. So this is really important that you check it out. Why? With this new column, I'm just going to type in the formula price minus cost. And notice two things. First, that the formula is being given instead of i2 minus j2 it's being given as at price minus at cost that means that it's going to subtract one column from the other at the row that we're at i press enter and the entire table auto fills all right i just pressed enter no dragging no nothing the entire table auto filled with the income okay so that is one of the first advantages of your excel table second advantage is that this also works for new rows. If I were to add a new order, 2,501, notice how I just added an entire new row right here into a table. And if I were to say, I don't know, we bought something, we sold something for $80 and it cost us 40, notice how income automatically, because it's a formula, spreads all the way on, out down here, okay? So I'm going to remove this line and now I'm going to show you yet another, uh, Yet another function, this is probably the reason why we, why we have to use Excel tables. Let's insert a pivot table out of this Excel table. Insert, pivot table, um, okay. Okay, so we have a pivot table right here. Let me do something really simple. I'm going to grab the order number and I am going to grab the price, all right? So this is going to show me how much money was made on each, on each uh, well, how much money came into a restaurant from each order, all right? Notice how it stops at 2,500. Notice how it stops at order 2,500. Now, guys, this is the really important part about Excel tables. If we were to have an order that was 2,501, say, for example, an order 2,501, and it's the same as the first order. So I'm just going to copy order number one, paste it down here, and expand 2501 down here okay notice how the table automatically expanded now in before you knew excel tables existed and you wanted to update this pivot table you would have to go over to analyze and then you would have to click change data source and make sure to expand the data source however since everything is now part of the pivot table i just come over here to analyze and i click refresh and notice how now i got Order 2501 is present there. So guys, that is pretty much the main reason why we use pivot tables. In order for me to grow that pivot, that uh, Excel tables, so that I can grow the Excel table automatically, just keep adding lines and lines and lines, or maybe new columns if that is necessary. And uh, 
I just come go ahead and click refresh in data, refresh all. And that's just going to refresh every single pivot table, every single pivot chart that's fitting off of the table. All right, guys? So that is something like really, really important for us to keep in mind. The main reason actually for using Excel tables. Now, Excel tables also have their bells and whistles. In order to get this video finished, here's what I'm going to show you. In order to finish the video, I'm going to tell you about the bells and whistles of Excel tables. The first thing, I mean, they're pretty run of the mill. The first and foremost is that you can insert slicers. Select any cell in your table, head over to the design tab and then click insert slicer. Now we're going to insert a slicer by waiter. So just press OK. And here we have it. Whenever I click, say, for example, the name of Mariana, I'm going to get all of the meals and drinks that Mariana delivered or Mauricio. That's going to filter out everything that Mauricio delivered. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now, besides the slicers, again, up here in the design tab, I can rename the table. So instead of table one, now it's going to be data. And more importantly, I can head up up here and change the formatting. So if I don't like that blue clownfish uh, pattern, I can go for an actual clownfish pattern that's that's orange. All right. Or maybe I can go for something a little bit. Well, I don't know. None of this work for me, but yeah, that's what it is. If you really dislike any of these patterns, you can use, just use the normal one and uh, head back to where you started. Now, I really don't like this one, the normal one, because you don't know if something is part or not of the table. All right. Now, say, for example, you are done with your table. You want to get rid of the table. Well, there's two steps to doing that. The first one is I would recommend just select the normal one. No, no pattern. And uh, that doesn't get rid of the entire table, but at least uh, it removes the pattern. And now in order to actually get rid of the table, like to actually proper get rid of the table, make sure that you don't have any filters active, head over to the design tab and click convert to range. And it's going to ask me if you, I want to convert the table to a normal range. I'm going to say yes, and it's converted to range. Okay. Okay, with that said, we are good and done. All right. Um, now, this is no longer a table. This is just a normal range and uh, you've lost all of the functionalities of the table. Now, guys, Excel tables, again, the most important reason you use them is in order to feed pivot tables and pivot charts. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. If you're not feeding pivot tables or pivot charts, Excel tables are pretty much superfluous and you can dispose of them. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Do you want to be an Excel god? Our online course will turn you into an Excel master in only 90 days. Excel is the most important tool in the office, but almost nobody knows how to use it. Most people dive right into Excel with no formal training and never use the right tools. And thus, they end up delivering mess reports that are full of mistakes and they end up hating their jobs. In reality, Excel is really simple to use and can do your job for you, if you know how to use it. But you have to pick the right place to learn from or you'll only end up more confused with all of the different tools and functions that Excel has to offer. So, what can you do? Our Excel course is tailor-made for you. We're going to teach you Excel, all of Excel, using real-life examples. From simple exercises to full-fledged business case studies. Take the online course and you'll be an Excel god in only 90 days. The course consists in more than 45 lessons and 15 case studies, all with their detailed solutions completely recorded in video and you're going to be able to access them whenever you want, whatever you want. Best of all, you're going to have lifetime access to the course and you're going to get any of the updates that we're constantly putting out for free. Even better, when you get our course, you'll have free access to our full Visual Basic and Macros course and also to our Power BI course, all with just one single purchase. More than 3,000 students have passed through our classrooms. We've attended companies like Kodak, IBM, Samex, HP, Continental, DB Schenker, and more. So, if you want to absolutely master Excel, make sure that you sign up now. You will become an Excel guy. A2 Excel.